So here we've got 2.1.1a, we're gonna see growth in linear functions. So we've got this tile pattern for pattern A. It's at the top of your images sheet. We're gonna go through and we're gonna answer a couple of questions. So uh, I really want you to see, wanna see if you can do question one and two, maybe not necessarily simultaneously, but you might find that doing question two makes it a little bit easier to do question one. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to inspect the pattern to just see if you can figure out how this thing is growing from one figure to the next. Then I want you to draw figure four using what you know. Now, figure zero might be a little bit harder to draw. That's okay, we'll work on it. But I do want you to see if you can find how it's growing. Then I want you to draw figure number four. Okay, so as we go through and we take a look at this, <clears throat> there we go, I'm getting some responses. So at this point, it looks to me, and I'll, I'll be totally honest with you, when it comes to visualizing things, I struggle. So I know that uh, people say, but you're a math person, this is all easy for you, right? No, no, it absolutely is not. Being able to visualize growth between tile patterns is probably one of the things I struggle with the most for this class. And it's that visualization aspect. I know some people, this is a lot easier for them. This is not that easy for me. So what I have a tendency to do, if you struggle like I do, is I count the number of tiles in each one to try to figure out if I can see like a numeric growth happening. Sometimes that helps. So if I go through and I count the tiles here, looks like I've got two, four, six, I think I've got seven tiles in this first figure. So then I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tiles, I think, in the next one. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 tiles in the next one. Okay, I think I have a prediction for the next one, just based off of the number of tiles. So that gives me an idea of what the growth is. And I do see people telling me this. I totally agree with this. It is a growth of three. So I'm adding three tiles each time. So if I go down to how's the pattern growing, it's question number two, I would say plus three tiles each figure. Okay, so then from there, I would then try to visualize what's happening with this thing. Okay, I have figured out that it's plus three, but now I wanna be able to see, well, where are the tiles going exactly? And in this case, after taking a little bit of a closer look, it looks to me like, and I'm gonna start at the last one. So if I take a look at the three of them, it looks like they're kind of growing lopsidedly. So I see, I think two tiles are being added on the right-hand side and one tile is being added on the left-hand side. So if I were to actually color code those guys red and like ignore them or like cut them out, then that should be the previous figure, so figure number two. So I think if I go back, the previous, hopefully that plus two on the right and the plus one on the left also balances. Okay, so color coding my orange over, because I do wanna see the growth itself and what's happening. Okay, now that I've color coded that, it should look like the uncolor coded ones, not colored, um, should match between figure two and figure three. So I can actually see like the growth occurring. Okay. By doing that and color coding backwards, I think I can figure out what figure zero is going to look like. So I'm still going to have the, okay, I added one on the left and I added two on the right. Okay, so let's bring that green over to try to get these to match. So there's the one and the two, okay. I think I now know how I can build figure zero and how I can build figure four. 
So I think figure zero is just going to be, well, it's the only thing that's uncolored in figures one, two, and three, which I think is just going to be those four boxes kind of in the middle. And then I should be able to hopefully uh, use what I did previously. So have those four boxes in the middle. And then I've got, well, previously there were three boxes on the left. So now I think I'm going to have four boxes on the left. So one, two, three, four. And then previously I had two, four, six on the right. So I think I'm going to have eight now. So adding two more. So I think this is what my fourth figure is going to look like. And then hopefully my pattern sticks. So I think it should be 16 tiles because I added one on the left and two on the right. And then this one's gonna be four at the very beginning. Okay, now knowing how this thing has been built, we wanna see if we can figure out what the 100th figure is going to look like, but we also wanna know what the 100th figure, like how many tiles are in it. So why don't you give that a shot and see if you can figure out how many tiles we're going to have total, but also how is this thing going to look? Like how many tiles are going to be on the left? How many tiles are in the middle? How many tiles are on the right? See if we can figure that out. Okay, so when I went through and I tried to figure out how this thing was growing, like again, knowing that I struggle with the visualization aspect of this, I did think about it kind of in chunks or in pieces. So I thought about the left, I thought about the middle, and I thought about the right. So if I take a look at this, just thinking about those different portions of this thing, I'm gonna start at figure four. Um, so let's see, let's see, on the left, I have four tiles in figure four, okay? Figure three, three tiles on the left, okay? Figure two, two tiles on the left. Okay, I like this. Figure one, one tile on the left. Figure zero, no tiles on the left. All right, I think I got a pattern for the left-hand side. So for the left-hand side, I think that well, if it was figure zero, there were zero. Figure one was one. Figure two was two. Figure three was three. Okay, figure 20 is going to have 20 on the left. Figure 50 is going to have 50 on the left. So I think figure 100 is going to have 100 on the left. So let me see if I can figure this out. So I'd say 100 on the left. All right, let's think about the middle now. So if I think about the middle of this thing, and you look at every single one of these that I've color coded, every single one of them has those four tiles kind of chilling in the middle of this thing. So I've got my four in the middle on figure zero, four in the middle on figure one, four in the middle on figure two, four in the middle on figure three of the exact same thing, four in the middle on figure four. Okay, I think the four in the middle isn't gonna change. So I would say, four in the four middle bottom maybe so four middle bottom okay and then let's see if we can figure out the right okay if i figure out the right hand side oh let's see um figure four i think there's eight there if i counted these correctly so there's eight so figure four has eight, figure three has six, figure two has four, figure one has two, and then figure zero has none. All right, so let's see. Figure zero is zero, figure one is two, figure two is four, figure three is six, I think it's doubling. Figure four is eight, I would bet that figure five has 10. 
So if I had figure 20, I think there'd be 40 on the right hand side. So I think with figure four, we're going, nope, figure 100, I think we're gonna have double the amount. So we'll have 200 on the right hand side. So I think that gives me 304 total. All right, now probably the biggest part of what we have on this page is step four or question four. So if you've got a highlighter, now is the time to grab it. We definitely wanna make sure that we highlight all of the important stuff down here at the bottom. So we've got vocabulary words that we're going to be using and what they mean should look familiar from math eight and math seven. So we have a starting value our starting value by definition is the number of tiles in figure zero. Then we have our growth, which is the number of tiles added each figure. Okay, the familiarity of this. There is an equation that we use that identifies the start value and the growth within it. And it's the idea of a linear equation. So the growth must be that you are adding or subtracting, we'll get to subtracting later, adding or subtracting the exact same amount of tiles every single time. The pattern looks like y equals mx plus b, where I'm gonna identify my m and the b. So m, that's the growth. The B, that's the starting value. That is equally as important as the other stuff that we highlighted. Now, not only am I highlighting it, before we start answering some of the questions to go along with this, this, I'm gonna put a red box around it. Is this is big, this is super important. So now we want to be able to take a look at the information that we've already determined to see if we can figure out what our equation is going to be on this problem. So let's see. We know that the starting value, so I'm going to go up to figure zero, and I know I have four tiles in there. So I have four tiles. That is going to be my starting value. That's going to be identified as my B in the equation. Then the growth, so how many tiles are being added each figure, that's gonna be, and I am gonna put a plus there because I wanna identify that it's increasing. So they're getting bigger. We will have tile patterns that shrink over time. So we may have a negative involved as well. Okay, our equation, y equals our growth times x plus our starting value. That's our equation for this one. Okay, so all I have on this next screen, so I went ahead and moved on to it, is pattern B. I want to do the exact same process. So take this opportunity, see if you guys can answer all of those questions. They're the exact same questions as they were on the previous page. Okay. While you're working on this, I am going to go ahead and start building the tile pattern, knowing that this isn't my strong suit. So it might take me a little bit to catch up to you guys on these types of problems. Okay, I think that that's what the figures look like. So it looks to me like these, these two are kind of being put on like a diagonal, not like stacked on top of each other, but like they come in pairs though. So if I go through and I put down uh, let's see, that's three, four, I think there's five tiles here. And then if you add the two green tiles, this becomes seven tiles. Add the blue tiles, this becomes nine tiles. Add the purple tiles, this becomes 11 tiles. Okay, so I think that the growth here is going to be uh, plus two. And 
And then if I go back, I think I was able to backward map my way to figure zero. And I think there, I mean, I know mathematically there should be three tiles because you have to have the plus two. So um, what would this figure look like? Well, this one's kind of rough. I mean, you might be able to come, I'm actually, I am confident that you will come up with a way better explanation than what I have. But I'm going to show it to you anyway and see what you think. So to me, when I saw it, I thought about it like vertically in like pairs. So if you look at figure zero, I have these two pairs vertically and then like a half of a pair. So two of them and then a single. And then I got two vertical pairs this time and then one single. It's like my pairs are growing. So three vertical pairs and then a single. Four vertical pairs and then a single. So I think this next one should be five vertical pairs and then a single. So on figure one, I had two and a half pairs. On figure two, I had three and a half pairs. On figure three, I have four and a half pairs. On figure four, I have five and a half pairs. So it's always one more pair plus a half. So for me, and that's how I visualized it, this is not the way that you have to. In this case, if it was 100, I think I'd have 101 pairs. So I'd have 100 vertical pairs. So 101 vertical pairs plus one, one tile, not a full pair. So I think what you could do, and again, if the visualization part of it isn't necessarily your strongest point, it's totally fine. Um, you can build the equation. And then after using your equation, you could figure out how many tiles are actually in figure 100. So I think I'm gonna do that. So my starting value, well, however many tiles I have, which was three to start with, then how much this thing is growing by, well, I think it's going up or increasing by two. So my equation is gonna be y equals, remember the growth comes first, plus however many tiles you start with in the first place. So I believe the correct equation for this would be 2x plus three. So if I plugged 100 into this, I think that I get 203, which I think I get the other way too. If I have 101 pairs, so that's 101 times two, that's 202, plus one is 203. I think I still get 203 no matter how I approach this problem. So I'm gonna have 203 